All right, hello everyone and welcome back to uh, Resident Evil Outbreak File 2. What's this scenario called? End of the road, that's it. Just move my mic a little bit further back, so like, I'm just trying I'm trying something out. Then a moment with the sound. Try and stop my computer from making such a horrible buzzing noise all the time on the microphone. I can't do anything about it, I don't know how to fix it, but I'm looking into it. Right, anyway, welcome back. Uh, timer, don't care. I'm not going for the chopper ending anyway. I don't plan on going for that ending. Right, what's this? Memorize the map, brilliant. Oh, there's a red herb here. Uh, Cindy. Yeah. No. Cindy. Cindy. Let's move it. Cindy. Oh, where are you going? Is there something down here? Nothing. Oh, hang on, what is that? Nothing. Oh, I thought there's something red on there. It must be the background of the wall. Is there anything down here? Can we go in this room? Can we go in this room? Ah. Uh, God damn it. Right, come on, Cindy. Through this door we go. See where this leads. Office building where... Oh, hang in. Do I remember this? Yeah, I do. Oh, you cheeky... Something. Back. Stop it. Are you there, Jet? I don't want to keep on wasting ammunition on you, mate. This ammo could be better spent somewhere else. Wait, you're dead. Is there another one? What is that? What are you taking? Oh, really? Cindy? Oh, God. Cindy, can you help please? You're not doing much, are you now? And why did you switch that out? Cindy, give me the magnum rounds. You have a shotgun, you don't have a magnum. Keep the shotgun shells. You have that gun. I still need the bomb switch. Hang on, those... Acid rounds... Where did you dump the shotgun shells? Oh, what do you know? Cindy, come back here, you complete buffoon. Right, go! Go away, Cindy. Ah, tricked you. Get wrecked. Right, what did you switch for over here now? Nothing. Alright, she, she must have picked up a herb or something and used it instantly. I've got 12 rounds left in this thing. Where's the Magnum? I'm not picking up Magnum rounds if I don't have a Magnum to go with it. Is there really no Magnum here? I don't have enough... I'll come back here if I find a Magnum, I guess. But right now I think a grenade launcher is more important, don't you think? I mean, what, I have four rounds. Jesus, that's a mine right there. What? Please come this way. If I'm injured? No, I'm not accepting that. I'm not accepting that. Be right back, guys, once I get to where I was. I'm not accepting that BS. Alright guys, I'm back, I'm back where I was. Just had to sort Cindy out again, surprise, surprise. Flipping, there's a mine right there, I saw it. And that's why I wanted to keep the bomb switch. <laughs> because of that. I'm going to regret my next decision. 
that's going down there. Cindy, that was your fault. I can't see. David, please come this way. Oh, Cindy, I David. really need your help come here. This way. Not David, Cindy. Yeah, did I say Cindy? Help. Eat it. I flip it out. Beep, 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 beep. Cindy, you're gonna die otherwise. What's this? She's already dead, isn't she? Wow, she's full on dead. Oh, he's still Hussein Bolt, I see. Perfect. No, go after Cindy. I need you to do that again. Stop pooing. Nope. It's too close. I need to do that swinging stuff. Please do your swingy stuff. David, oh, it's not close enough, Cindy. I'm sorry. David. Cindy, you're killing yourself. Just go away. It's not close enough still. God damn it. not beeping anymore. God damn you, Cindy! You caused that! Hey, hey, you. David, wow, what well, a surprise. Will that flipping get rid of him? Can you go away now? Nope. Oh. Hey, you. Ha. <laughs> complete dev. Why? Why don't you die? The power of bomb switch compels you. There we go. Got him. Right. F1 that. Cindy, I'll give up with you, I already do. Oh look. Hey you. Climb to your shotgun shells. Hey you! Oh, 
I don't even know where she's dropped her shotgun shells. Down here? Is that them? Nope. Come on. Hey you. You know what, Cindy? I'll give you these first, and then I'll give you the shotgun shells. Where are you? Hey you. Yeah, they, take it, take it. Yeah. Right there you go. Use that. Right. Follow me. Come on. Sorry, no. Cindy, please. No, I don't. Well, that can't be good. Well, it isn't good. Is that the package? Find there, mate. Keep up the good work. That is not, it's not going to be a fun fight, that. And there, there is no secret, you will fight that. Right, I don't need a bomb switch anymore, that's completely useless. Cindy. Cindy. Come, Come on. on. This is for you. Thank you. Thanks. Yes. Right. Now let's find your other shotgun shells, which I'm gonna assume are down here. Nope. Okay. There's somewhere else. To begin with, where? Well, down here. Yep. Here they are. Well, at least you swapped them out for a first aid spray. I suppose it's not the most illogical choice you've made. Right, now you've got plenty of shotgun shells. Don't waste them or drop them. Just won't have to fight him anymore. We'll have Hussein Bolt chasing us everywhere. That's one good thing. Alright, I'll take that. Use that, bring us up to fine. Also freezes our infection rate a little bit. What have we got here? Mind detect. It's a bit late for that now, don't you think? No, you've got something else on you, mate. Is that it? Cindy. This way, come on. What's she doing? Uh, I don't think I need the mind detector now. It's a bit late for that, don't you think? In fact, I'm gonna save it again just to make it entirely sure. Oh, submachine gun. Well, it's probably going to have more ammunition than that weapon there, so... Right, we've got a blue herb here. Nothing from the game now can poison, can poison you, I don't think, so I might as well just use it to freeze the Let's infection roll. rate. Cindy. Cindy, come, come on. on. That's... My shotgun, yes. Cindy, you... Mm, whatever. Oh, the footbridge. 
Let's move on mark a little bit. Hopefully it didn't make too much noise. Oh, let's look at the footbridge. Hey. <laughs> oh, memories of Resident Evil Outbreak. Cindy. Come on. No. You, you're going to want the, this. Fine, I'll feed it to you on a spoon. Go on. There we go. Good girl, Cindy. Good girl. See, you're almost a grown woman now. Good girl. Jesus. Might as well treat him like a baby for that, like one. Come on. Down here. Back to where we um, had a lot of fun down here, didn't we? Is this where the... Is this the final area? I can't remember this being the final area. No. Is it? No. No. No, no, this ain't it. Oh, home sweet home. And there's a handgun here. Why would there be a handgun just randomly there? Oh, this is a big place. Is this something I could pick up? No. Cindy, come on. Why is that building wonky? Is this after... Nah. Is it? What is Cindy doing? She's like... So slow. I'm not... I'm gonna... I think I've got enough ammunition. I'm gonna switch it out for the first aid spray. In case I need it. Now, this has to be after the outbreak scenario. And after the explosion in the street. Well, I know these aren't, you know, chronologically based, but this would be after that event happened, maybe? Because the street's completely wrecked. Ooh, what's this? Oh, Cindy! I don't like it when you randomly stop making foot noises like that. So it means you pick something up, mostly. There's a red herb there. Oh, what's that? Is that handgun rounds? I suppose... Well... The submachine gun does use handgun rounds. But we're, we're already both full up on handgun rounds. She's got full... Full magazine and everything. Cindy, what are you doing? You're acting very peculiar. Right, I can't progress that way. If I remember correctly, there should be a manhole cover somewhere along here. There we go, here it is. The ladder is broken halfway down. Oh, hang on. Crank. Down with Linda. That would have led you up here. What the hell did I just do? Where the hell am I going? This doesn't make any sense. Where the hell am I going? Down there, maybe? But yeah, I think if you came... Um... No, no, you can't go down there. I think if you came back, you know, because when you, you collect the crank down with Lin where Linda is, and you come back, she, uh, and you go into the power room before that, you know, the room that was li li literally nothing in there. Um, you can turn the power back on, you can probably go back down, you know, where that dead end, where the two ladders were. Probably climb up and that's where it m might have led. I don't know, maybe, I don't know. Right, so that was a dead end. Where am I going? Exactly, well, I don't know where I'm going. I, I'm I'm lost, guys. I am honestly lost. It doesn't feel right backtracking right now. But I looked back there, there was nowhere I could go. Oh, depth perception. I don't know where I'm going.
I need to get on the roof somehow to get to that bridge. I do remember parts of this story, parts of the campaign. I need to get on the roof somehow. The only way I could think about getting on the roof is back where the timer began. That's so far back. Hang on, let's assume that you went the other way. Let's assume that we went the other way. We climbed up that ladder. And now we're going this way. Let's assume that. So where would I be going? Because that mine detector is there in case you come down this way to begin with. Don't you pick up the shotgun. Good girl. Right, so we come this way. Oh, look, mine detector. We pick that up. We wander down here. The blowing up the mines, bang, bang, bang. Right? You got it. So we go right. I don't need to back here. We don't need to go that way though. There's no there's no one in the car, it's too heavy to move too. I surely can't climb over the car or walk by these huge gaps. Oh no, no, can't do that. Right, there's nothing down here. Except the pipe. And a special sound effect. Nothing down here. I know I'm wasting time with the meter. Climb over it again. Right, just checking Cindy's inventory. Okay, so we're going back here. We go through this door. Because the recent playthrough, or the, the, the last playthrough that I saw of Resident Evil Labyrinth File 2, I remember the person coming back through here. This way. Come on. Cindy. Come on, let's go. Through it, quick. Or oh, I don't want to waste ammunition on them. He went through here. But where to? Through here. Oh! Did I take any damage from that? No, good. D this door suddenly comes open. Oh, I suppose you could. Cindy! She dropped her shotgun shells. Back in a zombie infested room. Let's move it. Yes. Yes, and you will move it, little miss. Right, let me save it there. Because no doubt I'm going to take a crap ton of damage trying to give them to her. Ah, Cindy, Cindy, Cindy. You know it would be great? If you could mark items in the AI's inventory. So that they never drop marked items. Or mark items that are like junk, so they switch them out or whatever, or get rid of them. Right, see that's almost an entire rifle's worth of ammunition gone because of you, Cindy. Hey, you. Because of hey. you. Hey, you. Take them, don't drop them, use them. Forget the magnum rounds. Well, to be honest, I might as well just leave the... I might as well just leave the assault rifle there. I haven't got any ammunition for it. It's only got four rounds left in it. I must well take the magnum rounds in case I find a magnum. Come with me, Cindy. Don't drop your shotgun shells again. And this episode's drawing out like 25 minutes. I think I'll cut it here in a minute. Right, let me just... Right, let me Cindy. Alright, yes, I think this is the, um, the bit where he gets on the roof now. I, did, I completely forgot about this, to be honest. A zombie bashing through the door and that. It's going to be interesting. I hope the end is near, because keeping Cindy's inventory you know, intact is proven to be more of a challenge than this, in this entire scenario. But anyway, guys, I'm done for the day. So thank you guys so much, so much for watching. If you enjoyed that, please leave a like, comment in the comment section below, subscribe if you want some more, and as always, I'll see you in the next video. So take care.